Today, MTD CNC have travelled to European CNC Turn Part in Aston in Birmingham. I'm here with Mick Whitehead, the owner and founder of the company. Now, Mick, you know, can you give me a little bit of an insight? Why did you get into engineering? How did you get in, into engineering? Um, and, and how did you start? Well, I got into engineering when I was a lad, and uh, it, it stemmed from there. Um, worked at bigger companies like the Rover. Uh, didn't agree with the unions, so I bought a machine and started up on my own. In what a, what in machine? A pub. What machine was it? Uh, Ward Capstan. Ward Capstan. Two A. And, and you started in a pub, you say? In a pub, in an empty pub. Right. Yeah. And how long ago was that? Got to be 40 years. 40 years, blimey. Now, you started with one machine, yeah. a Ward Capstan, and, 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 and the title of your company, uh, CNC Turnpart, you've obviously progressed a lot further since then, 40 years ago. You're actually doing milling as well? Well, now. yeah, well, it, before, when I originally started, it was auto cap because I, I had plans of getting automatic capstans, plug boards, so I called it auto cap and it was not a limited company, so I changed it to European CNC to, um, to get a limited company so people could do a search on us to see if we was worthwhile doing business with, you know. Right. So that's what happened. And I, I've noticed we've been on a tour. You've got many machines now, but you've still got some of the old capstans. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, any machine shop, in my opinion, wouldn't be complete without a capstan. Yeah. I've, I used one myself. Fantastic yeah. machines. Yeah. And, and what kind of work did you do back in the day? Well, anything to earn a living. I mean, you've got a couple of kids to support. You know, you need to you know, keep the, keep the machine going. And there was only one machine. So anything I could turn up on that machine within its capacity, I used to do. And what kind of work are you doing now? Oh, lots and lots of different hydraulics, food. Um, we don't do anything for the automobile industry, you know. I don't do anything like Or most industries, to be quite honest with you. Most of the stuff, we don't know where it goes. Right, you know. And, and, and you've got what, you know, you've got a lot of machines now, you've got a lot of CNC machines now, yeah. you know, tell me what kind of machines you've, you've invested in now. Well, millers, um, ordinary um, CNC lathes, we've just started on the sliding head, a citizen sliding head, and, uh, and, and, and that's it. I mean, what the future will do, I don't know, because I'm getting a bit past it now. <laughs> so hopefully somebody else will take over and they'll carry it on. But you still believe that there's a place for the older technology to oh, yeah. work in harmony with this oh, new yeah. technology? Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, I mean it? sometimes. I mean, you know, I mean you can put a, um, a bar in a CNC, wonderful machines, um, but there's some jobs which you can still get off better on a capstan using an old traditional roller box than what you can on a CNC. <laughs> you know, but I do that. But a lot of young lads now. Uh, they can't set them up. They just want to press buttons. But so, have you, what, what have you found about that? You know how things changed from then to now in regards oh, to skill levels. Enormously. I mean, the skill levels now um, they're not there like they used to be. You know, and I mean the thing is with, with CNCs, it compensates for that loss. Yeah. You know, because you can actually um, press a few buttons, and you can pick from the menu a feed and speed, and that's it. Yeah. Well, I've noticed you've got a lot of CNC lathes, a lot of CNC milling machines. Yeah. This is your first investment into a sliding head. Yeah. Is, 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 this, is this looking to the future in a way of kind of running overnight, you know, oh, to become well, more yeah. productive? Oh, yeah. Well, we, we, we've run overnight anyway before, but um, it's the sliding head, I mean, it does multiple operations. You know, it'll mill, it'll cross drill, it'll do all sorts of things, you know, so that's why we've invested into sliding it. And in regards to profitability, you know, and uh, the productive nature of this machine, how long have you had it and, and, and are you seeing uh, gains in how you're now producing well, the parts? Well, we've seen, we've seen gains in the fact that um, uh, off this machine, the cycle time for the, for the same job on a, an older machine is completely different, you know. I mean, this is so fast. It's untrue. It's really, really good. Well, Mike, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, and that's a little bit of an insight into European CNC turn parts here in Birmingham. If you have spare capacity, give Mike a call.